Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Well, somebody out here is feeling very sad, broken. They they say they're feeling alone, but I'm, I'm getting the sense here that um, somebody's going to be coming chasing after you, okay? I'm feeling like this is your energy here, carrying this wand, right? Taking your power back, taking control of your own life here. Now, no longer waiting for this person and moving forward pretty quickly. Um, but somebody here is finding out that you they're in love with you and they're feeling crushed. The fact that you're leaving their energy, right? You're detaching, you're, you're moving on with your life. Um, that's what's making this person realize that they can't be without you. Okay? They're in love with you. They're in love with you, collective. But this is, this is history here. This could be somebody that you may have children with and they've been denying how they feel about you this whole time. I feel like they've kind of been treating you like crap, I gotta say. Um, and they haven't been able to stop watching you now. They're absolutely focused. This is going on today. They're fascinated with whatever it is that you're doing. Um, I feel like I want to say you're spot on. So I feel like you're very intuitive and they're fascinated by you because you're absolutely correct. Like you saw this coming. You always knew that as soon as you left the scene, as soon as you left this person's life, they were going to be coming running, running after you here, feeling crushed, um, realizing that they're in love. Yes, I feel like you you could be buying a new home. You don't want to have anything to do with this person anymore. Um, and like I said, this could be your baby's father, right? But you're moving on. You're making an actual location change here. You're done. And this person is realizing that this is a connection that's coming to an end. The cycle's over. It's history. I feel like you're, you're forgiving this person because it says here I'm being led to look at the past happened. Like you're saying, well, um, whatever happened, happened. But now I don't want any more of this. I don't want to think about it anymore. I want to focus on my finances, my stability, and have this new beginning. You're in empress energy here. And you're saying to yourself, yes, it was a tragedy that happened, but I don't want any more of this, okay? I don't want any more of this. And now this person wants to come chasing after you. Like, they want to talk. Um, they're watching whatever you're putting out there today. They're seeing it. They're watching you move forward today, okay? This is present moment. And they're no longer in denial about how they feel about you. They've been denying this for possibly years. Um, yeah, now this person wants to talk. They see you as their happiness, okay? Everything's about to come out. If this person catches up with you, <laughs> if they can catch up with you because you're moving really fast, um... You're about to hear how they actually feel, okay? They've kept that inside or they've denied it on purpose. I don't know if this person, it almost feels like they were holding some kind of grudge or something. Um, but now they, yeah, they're watching you. They may be looking for your, um, like, your address. Uh, you're not speaking to this person. You're not telling them any details, nothing. And they, but they're finding out that you're moving away or uh, there could be a home that you're selling here and moving to a new location, okay? They're feeling this emotion. You may even be picking up on some of that emotion as well. And that's why you're holding up your hand because you know this person wants to come forward and talk and you're like, no, 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 not anymore. I'm, I'm done with this. It's over, okay? Yeah, they're in love with you. They're in love with you, and that's that's what they've been in denial about, and that's why they feel so crushed. And that's why um, they're searching for information online about you. They, 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 they cry, they get angry, they get jealous, they cry. I mean, it's, it's um, waves of emotion coming and going, okay? 
They're completely obsessed with you now. They're seeing that you're out here making your money. Your money looks good. You've been working really hard, maybe saving for possibly a new home. Okay, this is really triggering this person. The fact that you're moving on and leaving the scene has this person so flipping triggered. Um, they may be hearing your name mentioned, maybe from your children or whatever your kids are telling them. Okay, um, they may be seeing your the same car that you drive or they may be um, whatever it is. It could be any kind of information, any kind of sign has this person triggered. Okay, this is definitely a masculine energy here. The money that you make has them triggered. They could be upset and jealous right now because you um, are making more money than they are. Like you're in a better position than they are. Okay. And they're completely obsessed now. I feel like it's making them feel a bit embarrassed here. Yeah, this is the divine masculine energy, feeling embarrassed. Um, you know, when it says, I'm being led to look at appearances, right? I feel like um, they. this is the kind of person who wants to be, like, number one, in a lot of control, okay? Number two, they want to be the breadwinner, the main breadwinner, like, like, they need to be the ones on top. And and I feel like now you're on the top of that wheel of fortune. You're doing better than they are, and it's making them feel embarrassed. You know, they want to be the only masculine energy here, but I feel like you're in both empress and emperor energy. Yeah. And you're moving on. It doesn't matter. See, for you, it doesn't matter how they feel anymore. Uh, they've denied this connection. They've denied you any kind of love. Okay? Um, and it just doesn't... Yeah, you're, you're upgrading in your life. You're moving on. You're on a spiritual path. You're ascending. You know, days, weeks, or months before you're hitting the road and moving away. And you could be moving to, like, un, like, the new location that you're moving at could be a very long distance away from this person, okay? And that's what's got them triggered. They don't want you leaving their life. And the fact that they're triggered by this is telling this person that they're in love with you. You know, it's kind of like a light bulb going off in their head. Like, oh my gosh, this is why I'm so upset. This is why I'm so triggered. It's because I really do love the collective. I really do love them. Like, I'm feeling kind of a panic here. But yet at the same time, they hold themselves back because you're doing better than they are in life. Okay? And uh, I feel like this masculine, you know, they're, they're very prideful. So um, they, they want to be with somebody who's, you know, they want to do better than everybody else in the situation. Okay? And, and they're not. You're doing better than them in life, right? Your, your money, you've got more money than they are. You're moving on. You may be purchasing a better house than they have. You know, all of this is really embarrassing to this person. It's really the only thing holding them back. It's their ego. It's really their ego and pride. Um, yeah, I feel like they're picking up on a lot of messages here, seeing a lot of synchronicities um, through song lyrics, right, in their dreams. This could also be telepathic communication between both of you. Um, but hey, I feel like you're, um, you're discarding this connection and I feel like they threw you out at one point like trash. Okay. They treated you like you were nothing. They discarded you and dismissed you. All right. That you could have gotten thrown out of a home with children at the time or they, you know, you were out on the street, I feel, or maybe in a, in a struggle, and they didn't care at the time. They're looking back on that moment. They are. 
they're looking back on that moment and that's embarrassing for them too. And to come back in and tell you that they're in love with you um, after all of this time and everything that's happened and just dismissing you, I feel like this person can't handle the embarrassment. But look, I feel like they may, they may take that risk. They may take that risk. This is a leap of faith here. This is them wanting, the, wanting to go on this journey with you. And they definitely don't want you out of their life. Um, what is this? Child support, alimony. They may need some financial support here. I feel like this is somebody that you were divorced from. Okay, I feel like you we, you were possibly married to this person before and you went through a divorce and I feel like when you left them, maybe they didn't give you enough financial support for the children and for yourself. They just kind of threw you out, threw you to the wolves, you know, and watched you try to fend for yourself and now they want it now that you're doing better than they are, they want to come back in. They may even want to propose to you here. Yeah, I feel like this, they want you back, man. They want you back. I feel like this person is literally, um, they're kind of having a, a personal hissy fit right now because they lost you. This was a really good commitment here. And I feel like you were... Um, a, a good partner to this person and they're realizing a lot of this now they're realizing all of this okay but it took you leaving their life completely leaving their life in order for them to figure this out and that's the sad part you know because they could have had a beautiful relationship with you I feel like they, at one point, they were jealous. I feel like they still are jealous. Um, maybe ready to explode, pressure cooker. Um, you know, I'm just getting the sense that this person's feeling a lot of pressure to come back in and tell you they want this back. They want this back, collective, okay? They want a happy family, okay? Um, they want to share life with you. They, they want to get back on the right track here. So expect this pop-up visit from this person. Um, this is definitely somebody that you have children with. Yeah, they realize you're a divine feminine. Expect this person to come in and apologize. I'm telling you, they're already scared about it. They're scared. They're feeling panicky. They know if they don't do something, you're leaving their life for good. Like, it'll be like, it'll be as if they're a stranger to you. Okay? Like, you won't be talking to this person anymore. This could very well be the last time that they see you, and they know it. So they're, they're freaked out right now because you're detaching. Okay? I feel like, too, um, it says internet here, and I, honestly, I know it says tuned in, but I'm seeing a plug is missing, so I know that you are detaching from this person. And that's what they fear the most. They, they don't want to lose the connection with you. They don't want you out of their life. They don't want to think that they're never going to see you again. Okay, so yeah, this person is coming in to talk. Expect for this person to just kind of show up out of the blue. Um, they want to have this conversation with you. They want to get on the same page. I feel like they're praying that this goes well. Okay, because they honestly, they can't take the thought of you leaving their life. Whatever commitment you had in the past, they want it back. They want you back. And I feel like you are the mother of their children. Yeah, they know that time is running out. Hold on, you guys. I have to turn off my phone. Time is running out. 
um, because, you know, it may take you some time to move and, um, you know, move into your new place, which I feel like you're buying a new home or, um, you know, it may take you a little while. So uh, they don't have much time left. You're already, I feel, in the process of like packing boxes, you know, um, getting everything set in stone. You know what I mean? It's only a matter of time. That day is going to come where they will never see you again. Or they will never be able to talk to you again. And you will be out of this person's life and they know it. It's hitting them hard. I'm telling you. It really is. Yeah, they don't want this over. They do not want this over. So get ready because this person is about to approach you, okay? They know what they've done here. They know what they're about to lose. Yeah, Archangel Michael. I feel like um, I feel like it's it's the divine that's saying you need to prove you need to prove the to the collective that you're going to treat them better. You need to show proof. Um, you need to be honest. Um, yeah. They could also be shown proof that you're literally going to leave their life. Yeah, here they come racing towards you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're on the verge of confessing how they feel. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. So get ready for this person to come back into your life. Um, but you may not want them back. Okay. You're an empress and emperor energy. You're, you're happy now. You've got your stability back. You, you're, you're starting a new life for yourself. I see you out here single right now, but you probably won't be for long. They know that too. You know, so you may not even want this person back, but they got to come in and try. That's, that's what they're thinking. They've got to, they've got to try something because they do not want you slipping away. Okay. Um, let's get your advice. What advice do you have for my collective? Yeah, look, and there's that time. Tick tock. They're out of time. I'm telling you, expect for this person to just show up. Okay. I, I kind of get the sense that you're, um, you may not even want to talk to them, but you're going to be really surprised when they just show up at your door telling you all of this because I feel like it's been years this person has denied their love for you. Um, you know, they've denied you. They've denied any kind of help. Yeah, this, uh, you know what? I feel like you've had a lot of time to think about this connection. You don't feel the same way about them that you used to. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're realizing that this person is not for you because they're not giving you anything. You know, they, they haven't been nice to you. They haven't been kind to you. They haven't been supportive of you. And when you were struggling and you needed them, their help the most, they weren't there. Okay, so yeah, this is a connection that's coming to an end. But man, I'm telling you, this masculine has other ideas. They do not, they, they, they want to take action. They do not want you to leave for good, right? Serendipity, They're, look, you're being moved to a new location very quickly. So, yeah, um, listen to your intuition here, right? You're moving on. You're starting a new life. You're already making plans for a new future, right? Keep focusing on your future. You're leaving this behind, okay, so that you can be truly happy. But this person is going to show up and you're going to be like, oh, man, what now? What now, right? But they're showing up as a divine masculine. This person is bossing up. They really do realize they want this back. They want this connection back. This person wants to be loyal to you. They want their happy family back. The land of milk and honey. This is the ten of cups in this deck. They want this happy family back. 
So I feel like this connection and this um, communication has is faded to happen, okay? But I feel like, yeah, they, they're going to extend a peace, a peace offering here. But I feel like after how they made you feel, because they made you feel like this, orphaned and alone, no one to help you, no nothing, nothing. They gave you nothing, okay? And I feel like you're just, you're done. You're tired of this. You want this to come to an end. Um, yeah, but they've got, they think they've got unfinished business with you. They do not want this over, so here they come back around, okay? So get ready for this communication. Um, this person from your past, possibly your, the father of your children, they're coming back around. They want this commitment back. They do. They want their happy family back. They want their happy home back. They want you back, collective. Okay? So just get ready for it. Here it comes. Here it comes. 